Hi everyone, Jean Lurson here. Last week I was sorting out my brushes, um, figuring I have so many brushes, I have drawers full of brushes that I don't use, so I wanted to sort out the ones that I use regularly and when I was doing that I was thinking to myself, well um, what do I use these brushes mainly for? And and I was thinking about painting loose and what you could do with the different brushes. And then I decided I was going to experiment doing some tree shapes, which is a good exercise both in painting loose and learning how to do tree shapes. Now, when you do tree shapes, you really want to look at some photos or photos that you've taken or photos, just photos of trees to get ideas of the shapes of different trees. All are done from, not from memory, but from observing sh tree shapes. Like for instance, this is the African acacia tree and I really love the shape of it and it has very gnarly branches. And there's another photo of it that a friend of mine took. And then this is just a reference photo of tree shapes that I have on file. It's a pine tree and there's a painting that I did with a pine tree and um, I use reference photos uh, when I do paintings of trees even though I paint loose tree shapes. So let's go over a few of these. I'll do some for, uh, for you. So I'm going to start off with, with my size 18 Da Vinci Cosmotop brush which is a mixture of squirrel hair and synthetic hair but it holds a lot of pigment and I'm just going to mix some greens, some yellows and get a bit more and, and I'm going to do because this is a round brush I'm going to do some round shapes you don't want them all to be exactly the same but you see you get this tree shape that's sort of a triangle and you can add in your dark shape. I'm going to take and some sepia and just do a tree trunk. And that's one shape you can do. Now let's do another one. This was a lot of fun. I took my silver black velvet 3 8 inch striper brush. These are also called dagger brushes in some brands. And I'm going to take some greens and I'm going to hold the brush sideways and just do some rough tree shapes for a sort of, uh, I guess you could sort of say it's a rounded tree shape. And you can touch in some darks here and there. But this is more of an exercise in getting the shapes down and again voila another tree shape. Now I'm going to take my very cheap hardware store one inch paintbrush. It has synthetic hairs 
and um, it's softer than my hog's hair brush so I like to use it if I'm doing very fine but loose leaf details and I'm just going to um, dip it in some different greens and yellows get some variety on the brush and it's another way that you can do quick fine leaves there we are And there you are. Now I'm going to do my favorite tree, which is the African acacia tree, which has very dark leaves. To show you the picture again, the African acacia tree. It's sort of a very low triangle, but it's got very gnarly branches. And I love the shape of this tree. And maybe I'll even do it this way. And so this is what I use my hog's hair brush for and get some sepia and we're going to do these very gnarly trunk and branches for this tree And there we are, the African acacia tree. Now the whole point of this exercise is to learn to paint loose by using the largest brushes you can and some different shape brushes. But it, it helps you to learn to paint loose and cut out that detail. I have uh, so many people email me to say, I have such difficulty loosening up. Well. This is an exercise to loosen up. Give it a try. I hope you enjoyed these, this little demonstration. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.